Uh, I'm trying to figure this out. This is the first time that I'm ever using this on my computer, so we're going to see how it goes. So good morning, everybody. Welcome to He Set Me Free. My name is Robert, and I wanted to give you all a look at my day yesterday in a numer numerical sense. As you can see, I drove for Uber all day yesterday. This was how much I made per ride. This was my total sum before tips. This was how, how much I got in tips. This was miles to pick up to driver. This right here is miles to drop off with passenger. And this was my total trip mileage, meaning from the time that I accepted that trip or started towards the passenger to the time that I dropped them off. These are my times, or this is my rate per mile of how much I made. This right here is my start times, my pickup times, and my drop off times. All right. So typically to get duration, what I do is I subtract my drop off from my start time. And this number is actually a little off because I got to redo, redo the formula. But it would give a breakdown of how many minutes per trip if the formula was right. But this is an accurate number or actually. No, this is about right. This is an accurate number of my total hours that I drove yesterday, which is about because I started at 6 a.m. I finished up at 1.30, so mm, that may not be right. Hold on a second. Let me do something right quick. All right, there we go, that's better. So now you can see in real time what my numbers were. All right, and so then I'm going to correct this down here. Um, I don't know, where's my big trips at? Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so. That's still not right. I'll have to figure it out later anyway. So this this should say that I drove a total of seven and a half hours yesterday. So I don't know where the 17 is coming from. So anyway, what's interesting here is, as you can see, some trips, I had to drive excessive miles to earn these men these minimums but then I had the seven dollar sixty four uh, cent payout but to make that I had to drive almost twice the amount to earn that seven dollars and sixty four cents this right here this ride right here that tells me that they could not get anybody to go pick this person up so I had to drive the 7.2 miles to go pick them up over at the marketplace and to turn around and, and go back to where I was at to drop them off um, now I got on chat GPT and I wanted to know a formula and I tried to save it. I wish I would have screenshot it. I wanted to know based off of the information of this column right here and this one right here, what the difference was and what chat GPT told me was for every 0.533 miles that I drove, I earned $1. So in other words, to make a full dollar, I would have to drive 1.96 mile, uh, 1.94 miles to earn a full dollar. All right, so in other words, what all this right here tells me, looking at it and taking a really in-depth look, plus the information that I already know, that whatever the Uber cost or charge the passenger, because Uber does not give us this block over here, or this one right here, or this one right here, or this one right here, that whatever that they charged the passenger, they took a little over half. In other words, they took 56%, um, no, 
They took 46% of each ride. And that, and that can vary. Okay? So, or 47% of each ride. Okay, which doesn't seem too bad until you actually look at what I had to drive to earn these miles. Now, I mean, granted, you like this right here, you know, to make the $9.07, because Uber only pays you for this column right here. But to get a, an accurate assessment of how much you actually earn per mile via this column, you have to add these two miles together to know exactly how much you made per mile. And that's very, very, very important for you to understand. Okay, so like for this ride right here, I made 70, 72 cents a mile based off of the 12.6 miles that I drove for the $9.07. Okay, now this one I did pretty good. But look, I drove one mile to pick the person up, two miles to drop them off, a total of three miles, and I made $3.60. So basically, even though Uber says it's, it's at a rate of 80 cents a mile and 13 cents a minute, this is more accurate because you have to take into account the miles to pick up. This is where Uber earns its money, right here, okay? Plus whatever other fees that they charge the passenger. This is what you get paid, is supposed to get paid to be a driver. So basically, if I was to take this amount right here times it times 80 cents a mile plus 13 cents a minute based off of this information right here, I should come up with this number right here, okay? Or actually, I should come up with this number right here, and this number right here, and this number right here. So if you ever have any doubt about payout plus the 75 cents, don't forget that. If you are short, then you need to get a hold of Uber support and say, hey, look, what y'all paid me does not add up to the miles and the minutes and the connection fee that y'all are saying that I'm supposed to get paid and make them correct that. Even if it's at the end of at the end of your day, you call them up and say, hey, look, this is what I come up via calculations based off of y'all's numbers that I can figure up. And this is what y'all paid me to see if they cheat y'all or not. Beyond that, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. This is going to be a very short video, and we will talk to you all later.